save them. Okay. So your I just gave the introduction to our um, online radio audiences so that they could call us or send a message via email so that they could win that King of Corn Fest. Uh, DVD, great to see you. Good to see you too. Yes, yeah, so we are on our, and <clears throat> hello, hello, or oh, hi. Hi, yeah, we going hi. <laughs> To our YouTube viewers, yes, we are live right now, and thank you for joining. Uh, we're going on our live on our Facebook page. Just getting that set up right now. Yes, as you can see, we are at another location. That's right. And this is a. And we will, yes, we'll let, we'll let them know, oh, that's good. Uh, we'll let them know momentarily so that they could uh, mm -hmm. definitely support this location. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right, all right. So, greetings, greetings, Facebook. Okay, so let me mm -hmm. see if I can turn it this way. Yeah. All right. So you can see it here and over Good afternoon, here. everyone. Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you for joining, joining. Um, let's see. We go straight into. Oh, yeah. Telling you, yes, our audiences, who we are, and if you're tuning in for the first time, you need to know, right? Who is, who are we? What are we all about? Yeah. Um, Umoja Caribbean <laughs> Union Inc. is um, a nonprofit corporation, and the purpose of this corporation is to unify and empower the people of the Virgin Islands and the Caribbean, both home and abroad through Afrocentric, educational, economical, and agricultural means by creating a system of human equality with the governing principles of know yourself for your greatest harmonious potential, love, balance, harmony, order, truth, righteousness, justice, reciprocity, and freedom. Our object that is to establish educational, economical, and agricultural programs, establish real estate division, acquire properties in town, country, and any other location, render assistance in sickness and other distresses, secure legislation in the interests of our members, establish credit unions, banks, or financial institutions to include insurance companies, and to enter into agreements in the best interests of our members. And then we have various um, committees um, under the departments like education, agriculture, labor. Um, you want to mention what the committee? Sure. Education and public affairs is under that same committee. It's responsible for dissemination of information by way of newsletters, social media, and any other means that include community outreach, which is what we're doing right here. Right. Research committee is also under education and is responsible for creating a database of information for all areas of UCU interest. And that database can be used for a number of things, like proposals and as, as time goes on for research. Yes, yes you know. most definitely. Agriculture is another heading of a, a, another committee, a very important committee. Uh, all of them are very important, but Agriculture boy, don't eat, it's a problem. Home Gardening Committee is responsible for using research information to, to demonstrate creating a, a garden and gardens and conducting community outreach activities. And something is going on for that right now, isn't it? Yes, it's coming, on, up. It's coming up. Workshop in that, um, Fox Gardening. The Labor Department is the third committee heading. <clears throat> And the bargaining unit committee is responsible for negotiating better working conditions. And you know we need that all over, all over the BI, all over the Caribbean. Fair wages in other areas in which 
the group of employees are in need of representation. And healthcare, I can see right off this. And so we can most all of these uh, contractual agreements. Skills Committee is under Labor Department also. Skills Committee is a very important committee. Is responsible for identifying skilled, skilled individuals or groups to conduct workshops and training. Bring your talents and skills. Join UCU today. Yes, and who can be a part of UCU? Yes, this is a very unique um, labor organization, labor union. So if you are unemployed, self-employed, um, retired, you can join Umoja Caribbean Union. Um, it's a special process for those who want to be a part of the bargaining unit um, committee in which if you are already represented by a, another union and you want to change unions, um, it takes a process, okay? But you can still be a part of Umoja Caribbean Union, but just on a, a different um, level, so to speak. So to there's a one-time initial fee of $15 and to maintain good standings, monthly dues vary. So it depends on what category you fall under. Yes. So entrepreneur or, um, or other just unemployed, mm -hmm. um, entrepreneur and uh, self-employed. All right. Now, if you want to um, be a sponsor of us, we welcome that as well, um, you know, to support the various committees and the activities. And we'll get into uh, what we have in this weekend. So if, again, if you want to become a sponsor, you're welcome to do so. You can send your donations via PayPal at umojacaribbeanunion at gmail.com. Or you could send check money order to Umoja Caribbean Union, Post Office Box 3168, Kings Hill, Virgin Islands 00851. Yeah. And um, further information on our website, you can get it at www.ucu.webs.com or our Facebook page, that's Umoja Caribbean Union, Inc. So we have two pages actually. Um, Umoja Caribbean Union Inc. Departments is the other one, and that's where you can get a copy of um, our newspaper, actually. And um, it's a powerful newspaper. Every month, it's, it's powerful. It's getting it seems like getting more powerful every month. Right. And, with, mm -hmm. and then with that, um, if you go to the, to either our website or the department um, page on Facebook, you can download past um, newsletters or newspapers. And most importantly, we definitely promote our advertisers, those who support us. And um, most of them are, are, are independent, uh, self-sufficient people that have started businesses, which is, which is the basis of a community. You know, small business is really the basis of, of the communities in, in this so-called modern era. Uh, I tell Trinity, I tell Trinity, wealth, health is your wealth, uh, natural foods and natural drinks, 419 King Street, Fredericksted. Listen, Negus has been doing this for many, many years and has perfected several dishes. You know, uh, people come from all across the island to come to, to I tell Trinity. Right. Studio 413, Salon and Spa. Um, have you been there? Oh, yes. Right? I, well, I was well there. give us a testimonial. Whatever. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I, um, on my Earth Strong, I went and uh -huh. got a little treat there. Oh, yeah, that's so right. They do and natural hair. Listen, did you take a picture of that? Because that was beautiful. Yeah. It was, Listen, with that yes, picture alone, with that picture alone, it, you know, is a great advertisement for Studio mm -hmm. 413. It's a, it's a special place. Where is it located? Baron Spot Mall, Suite 107. Christianstead, hmm. right. St. Croix. So if you want, you could um, schedule an appointment sometimes um, or walk-ins, but it would be best to contact them. At yeah, the at the phone so. number, 340-690-6046. 340-690-6046. And they have an email address yes. here too, right? Mm -hmm. 
It's Salon Spa dot studio 413 at gmail.com. Salon Spa, just like a spit, let's like a sound. Salon Spa dot studio 413 at gmail.com. Yeah, so tell Wilma and the crew that, hey, you heard their ad here, okay? Make them feel great. Right. Next is Nestor's, Nestor's Retail and Liquor, Internet Lounge. I didn't see that last week, Internet Lounge. He has so much uh, technical equipment and, and even know-how, you know, in uh, at, at Nestor's. Uh, he was really a, a blessing during the hurricane because he was only with the town that had uh, a generator running. So that's how a lot of people contacted the people in the states and across the world and other areas of Down Island uh, because of Nestor is uh, operation. Go to Nestor's. He has all kind of things there. In um, tourist items, he has what? Uh, he has ice cream. He has sunglasses. Uh, faxing. If you want to do some faxing, he has you know he has equipment to do that. Mm -hmm. Souvenirs. Three four zero four seven three. 1896. Contact Nestor right there in King. It's what what street is that? That's, um, that's between Strand and King on uh, that's King Cross. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's right there. Not too far from the waterfront. Um, yeah, and close to First Bank. Yeah. Yeah, close to First Bank, right around the corner, actually. So next, we have Right Way. Rightway gas station. Now they've been doing some advertising on the radio, and I've heard some things on there that um, hey, that's really interesting that the gas station has uh, food like that, <laughs> and it's uh, cold beer, liquor. They have all the other amenities that you know a, 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 a gas station. Well, it's not really. It's a gas station, but it's what a mini. What do they call them? Convenience. Convenience store. store that's it. Right, convenience stores and um, locally owned. Matter of fact, we own, know the person that owns it, and or one of the owners, and a uh, very powerful lady, and uh, an independent entrepreneur. We we love that. Matter of fact, I'm excited about where we are today. Yes. Of course, we'll get to that in a minute. We will. Alma's, Alma's. Now Alma has been in in Frederickstead and Leaders Court for over 20 years. And she's now right on King Street, right there, uh, 53A King Street, Frederickstead, you know, where you get oils, uh, shea butter, cocoa butter, natural, de natural deodorant, toothpaste, herbs, incense oils, incense oils, teas, uh, lotions, soaps, toothpaste. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great, it's a great place. And also fabric. Yes. Not not fabric. She has actual. Yes, she has some fabric. She has fabric too. too? Uh, yeah. Because last I thought we broadcasted there. Um, yeah, I remember showing a little um, uh, fabric she had pulled up in a wrapper or something. Uh -huh. And she has some uh, African wares. But, that, but that's what I, yeah, that's yeah. what I saw mostly on the racks. The African beautiful African stuff. So go to Alma's. Check Alma's out. She has some real extensive incense. She makes. Some homemade incense, locally made incense that she uh, she takes care of, and and some of her, her oil blends too. You know, yeah. Next we have Raquel's Fashion Accessory and Wear. Now Raquel is um, another entrepreneur right there in Leaders Court on on King Street in Frederickstead, right? Um, she has a number of accessories, jewelry accessories. Uh, she also has fashions. Right, a, a little different style. Yeah, you know? different style. Yeah, mm -hmm. different style, and uh, that goes mostly with some of the accessories that she has offering in her establishment. Another powerful entrepreneur, a Haitian lady, that is uh, very uh, entrepreneur-minded. You know, a, a wonderful addition to the community. You know, you didn't, did you know she was Haitian? No, I didn't. Yeah, powerful sister. She got. She has. She also has experience in healthcare. You know, she, she went to school for some. some health we're talking to her one day. But listen, everyone should go by Raquel's fashion accessory wear. Right there in King Street, right? It's right there in Leaders Court, 53A King Street, which is the third block going down King Street on the, on the left-hand side. You'll see a sign. And she has a little, uh, an A sign out in front of her place, of, of, the, of the little mall there, the Leaders Court. 
And even if one can't make it to her store, like physically, she has it available online. So yes. you can do some online shopping at um, www.raquelsfashion.net. So R-A-Q-U-E-L-L-S-F-A-S-H-I-O-N.net. So definitely you want to check out the website and um, order your stuff. Right there. Yeah, yeah. She has a, a, a vast selection of gold, silver, copper, uh, a number of, of combinations, and the jewelry also. Next is the number one spot on the island to play pool, A and L. Um, this was a very outstanding uh, uh, ad, especially the, the time that we got it. You know, when uh, the young brother, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Mikhail yeah. Paris. Yes, Paris. Yes. And uh, won that tournament there. That was that was very important and very, I know very uplifting for him and the whole community. Yeah, the whole pool, pool, pool community because pool is is quite an active sport, you know, in a certain kind of way. And he has really been training um, over there, so definitely want to big up A um, and L Professional Billards for um, training him because yes. he has done some outstanding things for yes. real with um, in the sport of. Oh. Yes. Now they're open Wednesday through Sunday, 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Right. You can contact them at 340-220-5133. And they have a Facebook. Um, That's S-T-X Billards. That's B-I-L-L-I-A-R-D-S. So check them out also on Facebook at S-T-X Billards. Yeah. A&L Pool. And we advertise, I mean, hey, yes, definitely those who have been advertising and now a newspaper, um, it's a plus because we're also promoting them while we're on our Facebook Live That's and right. most importantly right. on our YouTube channel. So, you know, repeatedly when people just go on our YouTube page, they are going to hear these advertisers. So um, starting as little as $1.50. Um and we have, we're actually going to do an upgrade, so $10 for a full page. So if you don't want it sm um, this size, you're going to get a full page for just $10. Well, that's a good buy. A month, okay? Yeah. yeah. And um, so contact us uh, via our email, umojacaribbeanunion at gmail.com, or um, you can send your payment donation to PayPal at umojacaribbeanunion at gmail.com as well. And um, where are we? Yes. I think we can bring yes. up here. Yes. Okay. We are, well, we are at a very unique location. Yes, we are. And yes, I. And joining us right now is the owner of Omega Little Goods and Things. I am my startup. Wow. Well, what, hey, I'm very grateful to um, finally help promote this location. Absolutely. Definitely. So what type of items and how long have you been here? Let's start with how long um, you have been here in this location. Where are you actually? Because I know you started off with a, with a tent. On the weekends at yeah. the roadside mm -hmm. plaza east and then to the site from gas station and then December will actually make a year where stationed here at 26 Castle Copley, mm -hmm. which is adjacent to the um, the Siphon gas station. So we have a one year anniversary coming up in December. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like progress. Yeah. Right? Step yes, by step. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, the items that you have here, and I can give them a little tour, you know. <laughs> Well, um, we have basically it's leather goods, leather stuff, handmade, handcrafted, made with love, leather stuff, mm -hmm. um, male, female, children, leather sandals, um, we have leather bags, uh, belts, and we also have a little Afrocentric, you know, earrings, jewelries. We have leather wallets for male and female, and um. We have all uh, the conditioners and the dyes and the creams to um, condition your leather and keep everything in pristine condition. Okay, so we're gonna give our audience uh, a little tour, okay. right? No problem. Okay. So you YouTubers who's watching, um, you'll see us in the background. 
Um, yeah. Check this. So yeah. we're here on the female side where we have different sizes. We start from size, for the female we go up to size 13 and 14. 14 will be our largest female to come down. We have the, the smaller size for female, we have a size five. Uh, we have our varieties. These are our newest sandals, what we call the flower toe with the style. bottom strap. Style. Look at that. Yeah. And then you get out around the sole. That's yeah, it. Yeah, around your ankle. And uh, we have it too where you can uh, tie it around your, uh, your ankle or your calf. You want the string or the buckle. These are really our top sellers. And then we have, you know, subtler stuff, unisex, male, female. And they're really comfortable, easy on the feet. Here we have bags. And everything in here that is made of leather is handmade. <laughs> handmade. Belts. And we we have belts, male and female belts. We also carry um, African outfits. We just actually had a shipment came in from um, Senegal yesterday. Uh -huh. Yes, well, mm -hmm. toddlers, little boys, little girls. Mm -hmm. Then we have some dresses for little girls too. I haven't put them out yet, but we got them just as well from Senegal. So you do, so you are making connections with, with Africa in terms of Yes, we, we, yes. Um, my co owner, Julian, <laughs> he, um, he have a very good friend that goes to Senegal every so often mm -hmm. and we get our stuff straight from the made. Whatever we want, and Wonderful. it's for yeah. yeah. I know you have saddle soap and made for this is so that's so powerful, yeah. Because to maintain that leather, you know, it's so uh, important, yeah. It's just a lot, it keeps the glass and the standards. We have the make oil, the soap, we even have the dye if you want to dye it over a different color. Mm -hmm. We have everything there, right here on the shelf, so mm -hmm. keep your leather. In pristine mm -hmm. condition. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have for children right now. Well, we kind of low on the children's stuff, and we're going to restart on that just in a minute. And now we have up for men's. Men's go from size seven, we go all the way up to size 15 for men. Yes, we have handbags, belts, you name it. Okay, so our YouTube audience, I hope that, oh, and you know what? Okay, so we're showing you where you can find them. So this is the um, gas station where they're um, close to. And uh, yeah. The side farm corner right there at the gas station. Let me do it outside. Mm -hmm. So, and you can show them the shoes because like, we're on. So these are our top sellers. They call it the flower too. Oh, yeah. yeah, where they have the ankle shop, the ladies have absolutely authority. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have to say too, men like them too. <laughs> men like them on ladies' feet. You know? That's true. <laughs> That's, true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. This is another yeah. sandal we carry here. Yeah, I like I like the the, the actual, you know, the 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 craft, I the craft of that. So skillful, so, yeah. very skillful, very skillful. Yeah. Okay, so we are back now. As far as um your hours now, we could go into that. Uh, okay. Well, we're open Oops. from Tuesday to Friday mm -hmm. from 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on Saturdays, we open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. We're closed on Sunday and Mondays. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So y'all know where they're located. So definitely come out and support Omegas. All right. Yeah. You get your leather items. You get your um, uh, supplies to take care of the leather. Right. So, yes. So she, okay. And even some important... Mm -hmm. Things from Senegal. I saw a nice shirt earlier. Really, like, you know, yes, yeah, a shirt and pants. And pants. Yes, yes, a set. Really. Yes, yeah. a set. Straight from Senegal. Oh, and um, we're so fortunate. 
in, in the same crowd. I mean, it's it's building. It's taking all. It's taking some time, mm -hmm. you know. But really, it's it's building the entrepreneurship. The people are, you know, becoming more self sufficient, more independent, mm -hmm. and and that's what we need to build this nation. That's true. As we're building nation step by step, you know, hey, it takes that to get to small businesses. That's right. Um, working together. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Onward, forward. So definitely, I'm so proud of you all. You know, again, started with a tent outside, and now it's that you know, <laughs> yes. you have to play. Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah. So hey, it's it's a step. Our it's a work step. pays Our off, work. but we just kept kept in on. Right. So. And that's the main thing: focus, focus, and being consistent. Yep. 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 Consistency is manifestation. And everything just fell into place. So yeah. We give thanks and praise, and we give thanks to the community. For supporting us, they really support us big between St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John. Yeah, yeah. So I want to say thanks to everyone that supported us over this time. We appreciate you and look out for some big things in December. Right. Good, good, good. Definitely. And even prepare before December. So yeah. come get your stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. So. Reasonably priced too. That's right. Okay. Well, great, great, great to hear that and sharing that information. And um, yeah, so this is what we do. So, like, you know, we um, sponsors come in different forms. So, if it's a matter of like you would like us, like us to broadcast at your store, um, this is what we can do. We just make arrangements and make it happen. Definitely want to give thanks again to Omegas. Come out and support the store. And um, what time till seven? From 11.30 a.m. weekdays until 7 p.m. And then from 9 a.m. on Saturdays. Okay, so you could even come. You could even come right now, all right? And, and as you probably noticed, had some um, youth them in the area. So it's like mm -hmm. a family thing, it's okay? A family thing. Yep. That's right. That's right, you know? But come out and you, you'll just be on Facebook with us and say hi and support us one time, okay? Great, great. Any last words you would like to... Um, well, out, send out. I just want to tell the community, as I just said before, I just really want to say thank you to everyone who comes in, who support us. No question asked. They buy our stuff, they keep coming. And um, even up to Tatola, you know, stateside, mm -hmm. yes. we send Sanders all up to California. What's so, your phone number? Because, I mean, you're talking about <laughs> California, Tortola. I mean, That's how true. can people reach you if not physically coming to your store? Okay. Uh -huh. The phone numbers are 340-643-7949 or 340-220-3374. Mm -hmm. So you can contact us anytime. And even if our store is not open, we will come and open so you can get what you need. If it's on a day we're not open, a mm -hmm. Sunday or a Monday, you call us, we give you a time, you meet us here and you come in and you shop and get what you need. All right. We're so flexible like that. Yeah. 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 That's community. That's community. Taking care of the people who take care of us, you know? Right. Most definitely. Right. So Most definitely. Thank you all again. Thank you, Shalima. Thank you sure. for thank featuring you. us this and this program, this hour, and we appreciate you guys. You're welcome. Yes, You're yes, welcome. Yes. Proud to do that, definitely. It's so, our, yeah. It's our honor, yes, indeed. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Little princess over there. I love that. <laughs> She's doing her own thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not disturbing you all. I'm doing my own thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little saleswoman, too, you know. I know she is. Hey, <laughs> that's how you have to, you know, we have to start them up, you know, um, yeah, at a younger age. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, very, very grateful, grateful indeed. And and Julian, I know Julian, he knows the man, you know, busy out there, you know, bringing it in, you know, and so, yes. you know, hell up to him. I know he would like to be here. He's here in spirit. I feel him all around. Yes, and you Julian know. is yes. the <laughs> other half of this business, yes. and he's our solid rock, yes. a man yes. of many hats. Absolutely. Just thank him for his um his diligence and his humble humble perseverance and and quietness and um, give thanks to him. He, he's the um the oil tower engine here at Omega Little Boots and Team. All right, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah, that's what relationship is about, you know, yeah. business and domestic. Yes, yes. wonderful. All right. Okay, thank you again. All right. We'll go into our
Okay. <laughs> All right. Zion Beach. Thank you, thank you. So again, we're at Omega. It's located in Zion Farm. Come and check out Sister Sata and family, and um, you know, check out all the leather works that are here. Okay, uh, shoes, bags, belts, um, things to take care of your leathers as well. All if right? you're in St. Thomas and, and clothes, it's worth it just to come over here for, to come to this store. Serious, you know. Come, come to St. Croix. If you're in Tortola, come to make sure if you're in St. Croix, when you come to St. Croix, make sure you come to Omega. Come through here and, and support this. This is powerful. Yes, yes. indeed. Hmm. So let's jump into community. Yeah. Because there's a there's a couple of things happening. Um yes, the Hamilton Jackson is coming. Yes, yes, yes. And we are this is the last week of October. Wow, it's gone back pretty fast. Pretty fast indeed. So there's uh besides let's see, Africa House Club. That's yes. still ongoing. Yes. Basically, um Monday to Saturday. Right. So you can check out Africa House Club under Yuka. Um it's an after school tutorial and cultural center located at nineteen and twenty King Street, Frederickstead, from three to six PM. Um contact numbers are three two three eight nine nine five four six zero or 407-590-985. And that's again, King Street, Frederickstead, St. Croix. Go to Yuka Africa House Club. And um, did we do, oh yes, we, um, it was recently posted on our YouTube page. Actually, um, a broadcast was done at, um, at Africa House. Yes, yes. yes. So the last broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. It was pre-recorded, but it was posted on our on our YouTube channel. But this week, what's happening this week? The first of November, a very significant holiday. Yes, David Hamilton Jackson Day. As I told people, like let's not get it wrong. Okay, it's not Bull and Bread Day, although Bull and Bread is an event that takes place in Grove Place. The day that is being observed. Um, it's David Hamilton Jackson Day, all right? And um, wow, we're definitely going to um, no, just tune in for the uh, November's publication of our newspaper because yeah. definitely we're going to speak about highlight uh, that. Yeah, highlight that. Yes. So tune in, okay, November 1st. You know, Shalima, we did a rehearsal for seven young sisters who are going to be dancing mm -hmm. at uh, on Friday. Yeah? D. Hamilton Jackson's celebration day in Grove, right? They're going to be doing the bambula, right? We're playing the bambula rhythm and they're doing the bambula dance. And um, it's and my daughter, Aoife, she choreographed it. And it's going to be, you know, they volunteered. Mm -hmm. They asked, you know, to do a dance. And they asked for the, the actual training or the actual, you know, the dance steps to the rhythm, you know, and so this is this is what's so encouraging. The young people are beginning to really see that there our Afrocentric, our Afro Caribbean energy, right, is what's most important versus integrating into the system. You know, the system, as I know, and I, I'm you know I'm a little older than others, but I see how it eats our children. It eats our children. As you get into the system, it can it can eat you in a certain kind of way. And another day I'll go into it a little deeper, but certainly D. Hamilton Jackson Day and these young sisters asking to dance and perform is, is quite a step. And what time is that going I'm to I'm not take sure place? exactly, but you know, it usually starts around 1.30, 12 o'clock, 1.30 usually. But I'm not sure exactly when we're going to be we performing. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to There's be going drumming? To, yeah, we're going to be drumming. There's mm -hmm. going to be poets and, and other people there, other speakers, some political things are going to be happening. But certainly, um, and then that evening, something's happening that evening. Yes, right? that same day, uh, actually, <clears throat> yes, we are going to have um, down at Yuka, Yuka's Kitchen, um, we are going to um, show a video documentary, um, a couple interviews 
um, surrounding David Hamilton Jackson. Um, the name of it is Remembering Our Past to Strengthen Our Future. So the show-in will come on at 6 p.m., but the kitchen will open at 1 p.m. So, you know, you're welcome to go out and support Yuka um, in the meantime. And then at 6 p.m., that's when the show in will come on. Is that the, is that the one with Seagull in it? Seagull is in this one. Mm -hmm. um, Mario, Seymour uh, Head, um, Tahima Edwards, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister Nataki yeah. is in that oh, one. Yeah, this, also. Is a, this is a very... Uh, and brought a Renhold Rookie Jackson. Ring, 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 yes, yes. Yes. So yes. that was um done several years ago, but hey, as as it says, remembering our past yeah. to strengthen our future. It's just so as relevant now. It is relevant, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, and, and it's very important for us to remember. It's not, you know, for us to just stay, you know, stuck in the past, but take the information um that will help you know, yes, in the, the present and the future yeah. from the past. Absolutely. So that's definitely... Um, the organizing skill of D. Hamilton Jackson and Mario's grandfather and the, the, the core group of men and women that were around him, you know, these are the things wow. that we, the, the information that we need in terms of organizing our people. Yes. You know, the same principles are, are, are still relevant and still active. Yes, you know? and, I, and definitely... Um, given much appreciation for David Hamilton Jackson and the St. Croix Labor Union, because as a result of um, the work that they did, um, it's not to go in vain. And that's why I'm very, very um, grateful that the Mojo Caribbean Union decided to use, exactly to use, um, some of the objects um, in, in creating Umoja Caribbean Union. So we definitely stand on um, the foundation of um, those ancestors. Uh, yes, yes. And I think devotion, devotion and, and being dedicated to liberation. You know, the liberation struggle is so, is so dynamic. It's so dynamic, on, you know, in so many different levels. You know, liberating yourself from, you know, from the internal, growing from the inside out. You know, uh, changing weakness to strength. You know, those, those things. Those things are, are 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 developmental issues that we as a young nation have to go through, and that's what our organization help is, is, is spearheading. You know, spearheading the the development of building the nation. It starts with each individual yes, and you. each business, like like where we're at. See, the, the business. These businesses are the cornerstone of the nation, you know, and as we bring the children through them, you know, and hey, it's, 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 it's powerful, I see it. It's yes, 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 and to extend that skill, you know, um, to be business minded, mm -hmm. you know, to do for self, and, and that's very important and definitely acknowledge um, all these small business owners, um, you know, they're expanding um, gradually. And it's it's a good progress, uh, you know, a step to move forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. hard work pays off. Man. Yes, you know. And you mentioned I don't want to um, uh, mm -hmm. dismiss Afa, you know. So uh -huh. with the work that she's been doing on Tuesdays, um, the Create Your Own Reality Project Afro Fusion Sweat Session, and I don't know if the 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 youths them that probably participated in it, in that. Well, um, no, got different. inspired. They were different, different to, to do it, but yeah, you know yeah, she's yeah. she's doing her thing. Um, she's very talented in in dancing, and so she has um uh so like a workshop, dance workshop um on Tuesdays, mm -hmm. six to seven p.m. at Malik Felix Community Center, Mumbiju, Saint Croix. Um, donations are accepted. The first class will be free and five dollars after. And then if you um, bring someone to the class, the next time it will be free. So that's a good opportunity. Um, you can contact her at 340-473-7767. Again, 340-473-7767 or email C-Y-O-R-P-R-O-T. J E C T 14 at gmail.com, and that's the number 14. Um, Facebook uh, is Create Your Own Reality Dance Project. So go out there on Tuesdays and get your, your fusion going on. Yeah. And, I, and I said I would go one of these um, 
Tuesday. Yes, yes. I uh, missed that one. Something came up, but I am looking forward. And that's 6 p.m. Okay, so let's all uh, make a date to go and get our uh, Afrofusion going yeah, on. Yeah, all right. Like Western sweat, sweat to rhythms. You know yes. the rhythms that you know that that connect with your spirit and your and your soul and your energy, and then it's a healthful experience. You know, being to 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 perspire. You know, yeah. actually to cleanse. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a part of the cleansing process. Yes. So it's a, it's 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 it's, it's, it's a couple of variable things that, that you get with that one hour. Yes, yes. And as you said, I, I'm dismissing it, but not dismissing it entirely. But mm -hmm. a Nubian, and I, I would just. I know next month it will definitely it's going to be published in there. No, because this is supposed to be published anyway. But um, a Nubian gathering. Um, yes, I'm putting Olu on the spot again, even though he's on regularly. But when it comes to health, naturopathy, you know, uh, alternate uh, way of uh, taking living. of living. You know, <laughs> Olu's a man, okay. All of the I'm, men I'm at a Nubian Sun gathering, all right? Yes, a student, a teacher at the same time yes, yes. when it comes to, experience. yes. So, uh, yeah, so um, words of wisdom yeah. is not just being said, but demonstrated, okay? So you can always check out Olu um, and con they can contact you at 340-227-7412. So yes. it's a natural way, natural ways of taking care of one's health. Yes. Yes. I use the seven healing arts and it's a preventive illness system. Put it into your life, and you really, really get ill or sick. Matter of fact, most of our illnesses stem from a lot of stress because we eat different things because we're stressed. Mm -hmm. You know, we choose we don't choose the best foods to eat at that particular time because of stress. Mm -hmm. So if you can monitor your stress, begin to work on eliminating the levels of stress. Then your eating, your food selection will be better, and your health will be better, digestion better, all the systems better, and da 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 da. Yeah. You so know. contact him, get your consultation done, and um, onward forward. Uh, you know. Yes. Yeah. Things are happening, and it's like we just need to be preparing ourselves because I'm looking forward for 2020. Absolutely. I'm putting it right, right <laughs> out there right now. Some super things are, right. are happening. I can I can feel it, can and feel it. we just have to continue to prepare ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is all a part of preparing ourselves, mm -hmm. dealing with our health, you know, our sanity. That's very important. So um, in 2020, at least we'll be ready, okay? Do it right now. That's that. Oh, so other things are happening. So that's, um, we touched on November 1st, a couple of activities that's going to be taking place. Mm -hmm. um, November 2nd, is um, UCU's, that's us, and Chant, okay? Yes. Our collaboration in having um, a workshop, how to build a box garden, and it's a standing box garden, actually, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So um, registration is ongoing, and let me clarify, um, in the, on the flyer it says materials will be provided, you like you will leave with um, materials. It's not the wood, okay, when it's, when you hear materials, not the wood, but you will, you will receive um, uh, a direct one-on-one -on -one from a skilled person who teaches how to make those gardens, so you can um, those boxes, so you can ask questions, take your notes. Um, you will go with materials, whereas the instruction you will be provided with the instruction on how to make it yourself. Okay, and I know some plants will be given, uh, will be part of the package. Okay, so yeah, this is all about preparation. You know, health. What age group is this good? Um, starting at 16 years old and up, okay? Um, there is a fee, $15, or if you're a UCU member, it is $10, okay? And space is limited, so it's only 10 individuals at a time. So um, if you haven't made contact with us, um, do so right away. Um, I'll give you our email address, again, Umoja Caribbean Union at gmail.com or by phone, that's 1-857-240-2854. Again, 1-857-240-2854. And if you want to sponsor someone, like if you know you can't be there physically, but you would just like to sponsor someone who would like to 
attend, you know, you can do so. So contact us. Uh, the workshop begins nine o'clock a.m. and three p.m. So you know, you're you're going to both practice already, and you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. So the reward is you are leaving with a skill, all right, mm -hmm. and a skill in which now you can teach someone else mm -hmm. how to go about building a box garden. Okay, so don't miss this opportunity, all right? This is an excellent opportunity to teach children, to younger children gardening, you know, doing a box garden, building the garden and, and then everything, because that, you know, it's, it's simple enough, but, it, it, but it's the main thing to keep you eating fresh food, you know, and so it's a, it's a good opportunity. Straight from your garden. Yeah. I mean, you know, what you put down in your garden is what you're going to put in your your yeah. um, kitchen and you, you're going to cook so, it or just are, eat you, it live, you know, yeah, live. And, and you are what you eat. So, you know, so that's, that's the deal. Yeah. yeah. So that's um to look forward to. Also, yes, I made note because it's not in our um, community announcement, but um, information came in. So also on November 2nd at 6 p.m., St. Croix Rastafari community invites all to a free dinner in honor of the 89th anniversary of the crowning of Emperor Haile Selassie I and Empress Menonin of Ethiopia. And that's going to be held at the United Caribbean Association, that's Yuka M20, better known as Yuka's um, Kitchen. That's in the town of Frederickstead, which is right across from Bodo Park. Again, that's 6 p.m. It's a free event, um, free dinner. Um, even if you want to, um, you know, uh, in, if you're within the Rastafari community and you want to provide um, food or drinks, you're definitely encouraged to do so. So that's uh, again this Saturday at 6 p.m. Yeah, that's wonderful. And it's historic, actually. It's historic. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's been a while since, you know, to bring all the different factions of Rastafari, you know, together and uh, under one roof mm -hmm. and, and to talk about liberation or, or, or just to eat together, you know, just to, to celebrate, you know, Selassie you know, and, and, and you know, the, uh, our, our ancestors that need to be celebrated, each one of them. Yes. that contributed to our liberation. Yes, that definitely contributed. Yes. Yes, so definitely, you, you know, you, like, again, looking at our past, you want to look at what they did, yes. you know, that helped us moving forward and take that, you know, take that and implement it um, with today so right. that tomorrow in the future, you know, it's, it will continue and it will even prosper even more. So definitely, um, Go out and support, you know, the Emperor Haile Selassie. He has done a lot of, uh, and Empress Menenin, okay, you know, have done um, great things that should be recognized. Acknowledged continue. all over the world. It's actually, you know, in other countries, they are more recognized than in the West, you know, because they, they just have more, they have more access. And, and, and the West tends to put anything that's, that's with a melanated person, or especially when it has authority, right? spiritual or, or even political authority, uh, they put that down. You know, they don't, they, don't, they don't give us what the kind of information that we need. You know, so um, it's very important that we celebrate. And and look at this. You know, you're going to be eating some of the finest food available. You know, you're going to be celebrating some of the finest liberators in our history. And right there in Yucca that has started the liberated territory, right there that, you know, for, for, for what, 50 years, you know, we, we must continue and grow. And this is a sure sign of a, of a giant step of growth. You know, the time that I've been here, since, since 1980, I've seen some transition, right? And this is a big step in terms of where they're gonna be holding this celebration you know, yeah, so that's where again, it started and hit the full circle. Yeah, yeah. So look out, come out, especially 6 p.m. at Yuka's Kitchen. Um, that's November 2nd. Um, Bring your family. Oh, my goodness, it's 4.57. Time really flies when you're getting into things. Eh? Um, let me see another announcement. Uh, request that the there's a petition that is available for anyone who is in support of 
having mahogany road repair mm -hmm. okay i've been there the other day i had to take the other route which um mm -hmm. was much better in better condition than the other one coming out from coming from the west going east but it's terrible okay it's very terrible and um so the petition is available um, across from the Wet Museum, there's a stand. Um, a young lady will be there. And so what's being requested is that um, the residents, taxpayers, and users of Mahogany Road and feeder roads in the northwest of St. Croix um, are addressed. They would like the road to be addressed by reflecting at a minimum temporary repairs. Yes, to the road until it is rebuilt. The health yes. and safety concerns many. And really, I mean, don't wait until someone gets in a serious accident on the road. Um, you know, the government that is to say, okay, well, let's go and repair it. You know, but in the meantime, if funding is an issue, uh, at least do some small repairs, you know, deal with those craters, <laughs> I call them craters. Yeah. I can't even call them potholes, it's like craters out there, it's just yeah. a shame. And and it's, it could be scary. And, and it's been for over 16 years. That's that's really the problem. Two, two, two administrations, two eight-term, two, one eight-term administration and then, and then Governor Matt, four-term you know, administration. It's been many, many years that it hasn't been taken care of. And that's the problem. That's part of the problem. You know? mm -hmm. So um, we really need, and in tourism, why, why do they send buses up that road when they know that that road is so, is so not representative of St. Croix? That doesn't, the, the, the environment represent it, yes, but the right. road doesn't. The road you know? doesn't. And that, and that's, that's, it's a safety hazard. It definitely it's is. It's a safety hazard. Is. So let's be proactive, especially in, government right now i mean if you got to put something temporary until you rebuild it then you know do so at least you know rather than just have it in the condition that it is but as we are seeing right now it's five o'clock p.m and we gotta yeah. go we got to go we got to go gotta go you gotta go yes broadcasting go. again grateful for omega isata omega. and family for yes. um yeah allowing us to broadcast here at omega store so again come out and support this store they're open till seven today so um just say hey i heard you on the air or what have you um and you know you want to come out and support so thank you our facebook live our Facebook audience, our um, YouTube audience for joining us. And if you are tuning in to our online radio, stay on because, again, you have an opportunity to win that Cane and Corn Fest DVD. You got to be on our online radio, okay, to receive this deal, steal of a deal. And you got to have it in your collection. Yes. Okay, so we're signing off right now from our Facebook and our YouTube. So, okay. Peace. Thank you.